Now we're going to look at a statement given in English and construct a truth table for it. Write the following statement in symbolic form and construct a truth table. Then indicate one set of conditions that make the compound statement false. If you break the law and change the law, then you have not broken the law. We'll begin by designating P to be the statement, you break the law. Let's let Q be the statement, you change the law. Now we're going to rewrite this sentence in symbolic form. If you break the law and change the law will be the first part of a conditional. If P and Q, then you have not broken the law. That would end up being not P. So let's now take this statement and draw a truth table. We'll begin with columns for P and Q and fill them in as usual. Inside the set of parentheses, we notice we have the conjunction P and Q. A conjunction is true as long as both parts are true. That occurs in our first row. For the rest of the cases, we notice that we have a false statement included, so the conjunction is false. We notice on the right-hand side of the conditional, we have the negation of P. We'll fill in this column by taking the opposite truth values from our first column. Now we're going to have the column that's indicated and the last column connected by the conditional. A conditional statement is true except in a case like we have in the first row where we have if true then false. This leads us to a false conditional. If false then false is true. If false then true is true. If false then true is true. Now, the next part of the problem is to indicate one set of conditions that will make the compound statement false. So notice that occurs in our first row. If all three statements, P, Q, I'm sorry, if P and Q are both true, then we end up with this statement being false. And so those would be the set of conditions that would make the compound statement false.